Hi, welcome to Cadell Cuisine. I'm Nadia Cadell, and today we're gonna to be doing a plant-based recipe, a cucumber cashew noodle mix. This is fantastic for a meal prep type dish where it's, you can make a big bowl of it and kind of divide it out into your containers for the week if you'd like. Uh, all of the flavors with this miso type paste sauce that goes in it are so, so delicious. So I hope you enjoy it. Why don't you grab a fork and let's eat. We're gonna start off with the pasta or the noodles. I like to use either brown rice noodles or uh, chickpea noodles. So start off with getting your pot of water ready, adding some salt, some olive oil, or whatever way you typically make pasta or noodles. Let that get warmed up. And today I'm gonna use chickpea noodles. Once those are all set and ready to go, you can throw in your edamame. You wanna mix those around. And you can set your timer for about three or four minutes or enough time for your edamame to cook all the way through or get warm. Once those are all finished, you're gonna grab a bowl and start taking these noodles out. This will help to give the noodles enough time to kind of cool and be ready for the rest of the meal. You can ladle out the edamame and we're gonna jump into making the rest of this with starting the cucumbers. And with the cucumbers, the way that you wanna dice these is bite size or smaller dice, but not too minced, just enough to um, be a good bite size. And getting our avocados ready, I like to slice the top off, it makes it a little bit easier for me. If you're comfortable, you can take the um, seed part out that way. If not, however you usually do is good. And I like to hug the avocado with the spoon as close as I can to the outer part just to get all of that out. Give it a good twist. And we're gonna start and dice these little um, pieces as well. Again, bite-sized or small. And we're gonna set them off to the side. We're not quite ready for them, but at least we've prepped them. We're gonna get going with our sauce or dressing. Applying a little bit of extra pressure to that lime to get extra juice out. Grab a fork and then just rotate that lime. Next, we're gonna add in the um, toasted sesame seed oil. Give it a mix, the tamari, give that a good stir, and then white wine vinegar or any other wine vinegar that you have will be just fine. Give that a good stir. I'm gonna move on to our brown rice miso paste or any miso paste that you like or enjoy. This is what's really gonna give that flavor to this recipe. And miso has naturally fermented um, probiotics in it because it's that fermented soybean, so really great for the gut health. Once you have your salt mixed in, set that off to the side. We're gonna move on. And toast our cashews. This is on a heated pan and I wanna to lightly toast these, making sure not to over burn them or over toast them. While those are going, I'm gonna work on the mint. And I wanna make sure that I cut these into really small, thin pieces. This really helps because you don't wanna bite into a big piece of mint with this recipe. I'm gonna grab a second bowl and sort of divide this in half or about half. And I'm gonna do this before adding the sauce because I wanna make sure that these noodles really get all of that sauce. So once you're done dividing it, kind of give it a good mix. 
I'm going to take this time to add the sesame seeds. And now that I'm ready to add in the sauce, save some and add to the other bowl. Giving those a good mix. I'm going to add in the avocado. If you're doing this as a meal prep option, you can add in the avocado once you're ready to serve it. Remembering to add the mint and give that all a nice stir. You can finish incorporating everything and then move on to chopping your toasted cashews. I'm gonna add about half of that into the bowl, kind of mix that around and then save the other half for the plating part of this recipe. I'm gonna get my containers ready for my weekly meal prep. You can divide everything up there. This really makes life easy if everything's kind of set and ready to go. And then you can finish this off with topping it with the toasted cashews. But it helps to make this dish pop. And then you can hit it off with some of those toasted sesame seeds and finish it off. A really simple, easy way to enjoy some healthy meal prep options and they're ready to grab and go. Hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this plant-based recipe. One thing to keep in mind with the avocado is if you are making this for a few days in advance, you can go ahead and take out the avocado part of this, um, or at least don't add it until you're ready to serve it. It helps so that the avocado doesn't oxidize, um, doesn't get that brown part around it. If you already did, if you're getting to this point and you followed along, just go ahead and add some lime juice to that and when you are closing your container, make sure to get all of that air out. It should be fine for about a day or two, but just some of the tips that'll help with this type of recipe in particular. So we went ahead and put the recipe ingredients down below. Again, it's from Deliciously Ella, a really great plant-based cookbook. So if you're looking for something like that, we definitely recommend it. As always, we are so grateful for the likes, the comments, the subscribes. It helps us to keep making these videos and we love hearing from you to see what you'd like to see next as well. We've also been thoroughly enjoying the tags on Instagram when you guys make something that we've shared with you and share that with us. It really makes our day. So thank you so much and we look forward to seeing you in the next recipe. Enjoy. Based recipe today. This is a really de 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 <laughs> delicious. It's very delicious. One more time. <laughs>